Thank you. It's time to make a heart stopper jacket. We start off with a leaf template. Now, technically I could have drawn these directly onto the jacket, but this just made sure I wouldn't mess them up and also gave me a placement tool for later as I didn't totally know where I wanted every single leaf to go on the jacket. So I just drew out a bunch of different shapes, bunch of different sizes, and I knew that would help me lay them out. I also, as you can see, drew some of Nick's flowers as I want them on the jacket, but ultimately decided those are better without a template and they didn't get cut out, unfortunately. They were left behind and all the flowers I want to stick on the jacket for Nick are going to be hand drawn. There's all our leaves. Once I had all my templates, it was just time to start placing and tracing. This shoulder piece was the first thing I knew I wanted and I saw clearly in my brain. So I started with that. I stuck a bunch down and then I had a white sewing pencil crayon thing that I went around all the leaves for. Wherever it was thicker, it was much harder to draw and I had to kind of go over it again and again. But eventually I got enough of a line that it would give me something to paint later, which is really what's important here. Yeah, look at those. And then I just kind of went section by section. Tried to make sure I only use each leaf shape once until I had run out of leaves and then I repeated. I didn't want anything to look too much the exact same. My freehand flower drawing, I did both of them at once just to get them all done. The back was like the funnest part to lay leaves on other than the shoulder. I don't know, I just feel like all the seam lines really made for good placement and I felt great about everything as I was working back here. There's some other areas I didn't feel as great about, so I just, I don't know, it was nice. Sometimes I had to adjust or change. You never know what you're gonna want right away, but eventually we, we got there. It took me a long time to figure out this elbow piece. I don't know, it just, it was a weird one with no seam to go off of and like no concept of how it was gonna look. But I got there in the end. I'm really happy actually with how that one turned out. And then I just, I felt it was a little bare. The shoulder needed something. I went with pastel colors. I know they're technically like not the heart stopper colors, but they really make sense for my wardrobe. And as these are acrylics, I had to mix in a fabric solution that would make sure that these didn't crack on my fabric later. I had no idea like how much exactly to put in. It said, you know, one to three, but that means nothing to me. So every single mixture is a little bit different, <laughs> but I figured that way, you know, at least one was guaranteed to work. These were such a pain to paint on, like the paint was sticky, it didn't go very far, and I knew right away I was gonna have to layer it up. But, you know, at the end it went on, and I just kind of went color by color, picking out what would look good together. I wanted to make sure I didn't use too much of one, not of enough of another. It was a, a whole process that I had to do. I thought at first I was gonna do every single pink, every single purple, but that wasn't feasible with the drying and the kneading of multiple layers. So I kind of just went section by section. That ended up working best and eventually had all paint colors out at once. I knew right away the green, the yellow, and the peach were gonna need the most layers. They were the thinnest even when I got two coats down. I don't know if that's just because of their color or if I put too much of the fabric paint in, who knows. I did the little flowers next. I don't love them at this stage, but they get better, so that's okay. They really just look like blobs when I started out. <laughs> On and on and on and on I painted. This took ages. I was, of course, this whole time either watching Heartstopper or listening to the Heartstopper soundtrack. I got through two watch-throughs in this jacket alone, which is 
both I think impressive and a little sad, but you know, it is what it is. More flowers on the underside of the collar. I just thought that'd be so cute. Secret little flowers for myself. I probably should have waited longer between moving between sections just for like drawing time, but I was determined to get this done all in one night. Stupid idea, but whatever. So things got a little dicey sometimes near the end. But we made it through, and that's all I can really ask for. <laughs> yeah, look how good those look. Cute. Oh, I love it. And then I decided, despite it being so late, instead of just giving those kind of thin colors a third coat, I would give every single color a third coat. And at least it didn't take as long. Each layer it got easier to paint because it wasn't directly on fabric. But this still was not fun. I'm not going to claim that. It made it look better and I'm definitely glad I did it. No argument about that. But I was getting exhausted by this point and powered only with uh, Joan Soda and Oreos, specifically firework Oreos with the Pop Rocks, so. <laughs> Finally, I could move on to do the black edging, which really sold this, makes it look so cartoony, so fun, so cute. I wish I had done some of the like stems a bit longer into the leaves, but whatever. And the flowers finally look great. I felt good about them once they had their black on. The black got two layers each leaf. Should it have gotten three? Maybe. But I was so tired and really did not have the patience to deal with that. So two layers it was. <laughs> This was also a bit of a dicey section to do. Sometimes black would get into the pastels and I'd have to like repaint over it because I wasn't going to have any of that. No, thank you. And then last step, you have to iron heat set the paint. So I just did every single group of leaves on their own, gave it a nice good press. Hopefully this makes it through the wash now. I haven't had to wash it yet, but I feel good about it. The paint does seem really sturdy. my god. The entire time I was doing that reveal footage, I was bopping along to one Heartstopper song. Leave in the comments if you think you can guess which one it was. <laughs> oh, I, I am so incredibly happy with this jacket. Is it perfect? No. But am I perfect? I mean, yes. But it's fine that my jacket isn't. <laughs> Having done it, I definitely would change some things now. One, I wouldn't do it all in one night. That was a little crazy and I was losing my patience by the end, which really isn't good for crafting products, but you know, it is what it is sometimes. There's also just like a few smaller things. I don't love this like giant leaf right up above the cuff. I think it's too big. I think if I had put one here, I should have made it smaller. I think it also would have been really cute to have like leaves around both cuffs, like small ones like this. <gasps> and then on the, the, the like collar and that's it. That actually would have been a really cool design. I also think up one sleeve, like having it almost like a swirl of leaves, although well, that would have taken 10 times long to have done. And I feel like I would have had to have less leaves elsewhere. I honestly, now that I'm done, I have like a million different ideas of the way I want to paint it now, but like I can't have 
10 heart stopper jean jackets that that feels excessive i do weirdly enough love this little patch right in at my elbow the sleeves were hard because there's no there's not as many seams as other places so there's not like spots to go off of you kind of got to make it up so i like that i love the little shoulder i think that's cute i like this it looks like it's blowing and kind of like may connect with the elbow i didn't plan that but turned out pretty cool i love the back i am in love with the back i think the two panels oh other way i think the two panels look really good with each other i like the way it continues across it everything about that is phenomenal the back is my best work it's because there's lots of seams to work with which helped and i love this coming over the shoulder this is the one thing that i like immediately envisioned i knew i wanted to have maybe could have gone a tad lower but i think it's really really cute the way it is and i like the color combo i've got going on up there i love nick's little secret flowers for me up here i think that's really really cute and i like the ones down here when i was first painting these they didn't look great and i was feeling very meh about them just it's they're so small it's very hard to get detailed especially with like the mixture of paint that i had but as soon as i put the black on i felt immediately better about them i think they look phenomenal and i'm very glad i did do them i love it i love the colors i know they're not necessarily all like heart stopper colors they've got very like fall aesthetic to them but they're my colors which i think makes the jacket really really work for me which is important because like it's my jacket <laughs> <laughs> I adored this project despite how long it took. I thought it would be like a small afternoon thing. I was wrong, but I'm still very happy I did it. And honestly, like I would just love to make another one, like just to paint and try out different colors or like some of the other ideas that I had, but I need to chill. I need to have like 10% chill, which I have not had over the last couple weeks. So I'm really forcing myself. I hope you enjoyed this little crafting video. I was just so excited about this and I really felt like I needed to share it with y'all. Maybe it'll inspire you to do your own cute little jacket. It's fun to have like merch. I'm gonna call it merch, even though like it wasn't sold by any official source, but it's fun to have that's like very personal to me. I just, I did love the sweaters that I was finding online, but one, it's going into summer and I'm not gonna wear sweaters, which means I have to stick it away for several months anyway. They're lovely, they're just screen printed, all kind of the same. It's fine, but now I have something that is very me and very heart stopper at the same time, and that's really special to me, so I'm glad I went through with this. And now, anytime someone looks at me, I am their heart stopper moment. Truly the dream. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this crafting video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.